Hello guys, my name is Michael and welcome to a new GTK uh, tutorial. Today we are going to learn finally the last uh, uh, widget which I was introduced to you when we are learning about the GTK stack. Remember we were talking about GTK stack where we saw everything about uh, what the stack means and we learned those functions uh, and how they are working. Later we saw about the GTK stack switcher as well. We saw that it has only three functions and we were using only two of them. And of course uh, uh, we saw that uh, by working with uh, GTK stack switcher set stack we saw that uh, basically GTK stack switch uh, it is uh, uh, useful is not useful um, without a stack so we need a stack so this means we had to learn about what a stack is we had to know what a stack is so that we can apply it to our GTK switcher uh, the same thing happens with our uh, newly widget which is called GTK stack sidebar and this stack sidebar it is an automatic sidebar widget which somehow has a different name than um, this one which is a controller for the GTK stack this one is an automatic sidebar widget which also has uh, only three functions and looks somehow like this where we have uh, those tabs which you can uh, click on them and of course the information on the right side which I put it for the container of the stack where basically we have that information of course you can use here grid if you want to instead of the button and then you put more information here than just a button uh, to be revealed that's your decision and the same thing happens where you exactly put the those uh, panels or those, those tabs right here you can have them here or you can put them on the right side it's your decision it's not important how how you design your program this this is um, this is the manner of the design anyway uh, let me close this one because we don't need it anymore the GTK switcher a stack switch we don't need it as well only thing which we need is the side sidebar and the stack why because the sidebar has also three function like the other one and the second function it is also the same function only use the sidebar in a stack switcher uh, switcher which means that the second argument of this function is a GTK stack so that being said let's get started for this uh, we need to call first function which needs for us a widget so gtk widget stack side bar I'm going to say create the side bar or better say the stack sidebar and I'm going to say stack sidebar we are going to point it to G stack sidebar new it takes no um, it needs no um, arguments and of course the GTK grid attach GTK grid where we put our uh, grid right here and then of course the chai will be our stack side but and we are going to use of course for the stack switch uh, 0 left 0 top 1 with 1 hey nothing special now when I compile it and run it you won't see nothing because it is the same story like a GTK stack stack um, switcher you have no information only something went different I, I want to s check with you if you notice let me uh, comment this part right here Okay, I need to comment this one as well. Yes, and this one as well. And now we have no stack switcher. We have only the window and the grid itself. Did you notice something here? You see the color? You see? It is gray, which means it defaults to the color. now watch what happens to the system theme color sorry watch what happens when you create your stack which color gets you see now it is uh, somehow white you see you s this means you you have something you have some information 
but uh, probably you didn't notice so this is your stack sidebar here you see this white container right here okay so just I, I just want to be sure that you you see the difference now of course uh, we need a second function which is uh, gtk stack sidebar set stack it is the same story the set the gtk stack associated with this gtk stack sidebar the sidebar widget will automatically update according to the order packing and items within the given gtk stack okay so what we do we are going to call it now you know what i'm going to call it right here so we need the gtk uh, stack uh, sidebar which were which is the first one gtk stack sidebar and of course we need the stack and for this we need to create a stack as well gtk widget stack now because we declare it let us create it right here and i'm going to say stack point we're going to point to gtk stack new and of course uh, let us add it as well stack and this time it will be position 0 and 1 and now let us check what exactly do we have here if we see something new okay the stack we need to gtk stack we need to cast it to gtk stack so we need a macro for it now as you can see it looks a little bit different isn't it yes now you see the the white part is here and the gray one is here which means we see something now which means we can now different make a difference between them now of course the information which you need it it is the same like in the stack uh, switcher uh, you need the instead of gtk stack add name the gtk stack add title which i'm going to call it right now and we need to create some information and i'm going to create it also right here uh, put some information whatever you decide and we are going to say uh, of course uh, gtk stack stack and of course we are going to say phone which will be the first one phone and here i'm going to say um, no wrong because i need the uh, button one first so we need to create the buttons as well not so fast which means we need to create the buttons first so gtk widget button one is equal to gtk button new from icon name and here we are going to say phone and the icon name will be gtk icon size menu whoa not so fast gtk icon size menu yes menu and now because we have the first one second third fourth fifth me i am insisting to use the same things even uh, if we create a new kind of uh, widget because i want to be sure that you understand that it is not really important what exactly you are uh, using so uh, because the information which you get uh, camera web audio headset audio headphone phones should be and of course the computer now let it let us 
clean a little bit the code just to be much easier and now because we have them we can of course work with them so button 2 will be the camera web the next one will be the audio set the next one will be audio phones and the last one will be of course the computer and like I said we don't we need to give a name so I go for name for phone and of course uh, web cam because it needs a title as well uh, head head set and of course the last one will be head phones followed by computer okay now that I identified the code to look better now what we have here we have the buttons which th those five buttons which we created and then of course uh, we put uh, we call the GTK stack a title where basically we add the name for the button and the title for our stack sidebar once that we have them uh, we were creating of course a stack new which was very important for us and of course because we create a stack new we need to put information after and not before we create a stack which is very important so I'm going to move it right down here first we need to, we create a stack and then we create the information which we need for our stack and once that we have it we create our sidebar and once that we created our sidebar we just attach them together uh, let me clean a little bit right here with the set set stack uh, function we put the stack inside the uh, stack side we are connecting them basically and now we can attach them safely let me compile it and run it and see what happens of course we have a problem we always have some problems let me see what's the problem I use my button 5 really 1 2 3 yes 4 and Uh, no, not for five. What the heck? Okay, now let me compile it and run it again. And it should work fine. Yes, you see, they are working fine. Of course, the, the way how I create them and the way how I uh, design to, to be printed is different. So if I use now, for example, zero, zero, and here one, one, it will be on the right side the stack sidebar and the stack on the left you see so you decide the way how you design your program and uh, you decide the way how you want to have it me I'm going to put it on the left which means the stack will be uh, the second one and the stack sidebar will be the first one and this is the way how you are working with it and this is the way how you create your stack sidebar it's not complicated it is quite easy that being said, thank you guys for watching, if you like it, please subscribe, share with your friends and neighbors, and until next time, see you guys.